Hi, my name is Foulist. I'm the developer of Repair Kits, an all-in-one Java-based Windows repair and maintenance toolkit. It's fully open source, free to use, and hopefully you find it helpful. I created it because I kept downloading the same free tools whenever I helped someone with a computer problem. Repair Kit already includes every helpful tool you might download, as well as system shortcuts and an automatic repairs feature. To get started, click the link in the video description or the pinned comment. It's going to take you to github.com slash foulist slash repair kit. This is the website for repair kit. It's hosted on GitHub because it's fully open source. Once you're here, scroll down to the releases section. Click it and this is the latest version as I'm making this video. This will most likely be different in the future. Just click the zip file under assets and it should download automatically. Once you download it, double click the file and make sure to extract all. Once it opens, you'll be in this folder, config, JRE, and repair kit, the version number, .exe. This is the main application. Go ahead and double click it. If there's a smart screen prompt, just click more info and run anyway. The screen it opens to is the automatic repairs panel. Delete system policies is pretty simple. It deletes harmful, malicious system policies that restrict things like recycle bin, command prompt, registry editor, file explorer, things like that. The run registry tweak setting is a massive list of registry changes that fix telemetry, fix security vulnerabilities like Spectre Meltdown, restore problems with your file explorer or recycle bin, keyboard and mouse, things like disabling sticky keys and disabling mouse acceleration, fix battery visibility problems in Windows for laptops, as well as a plethora of other changes. They're all visible in the config files. The run systems tweaks setting does minor things that aren't registry related, but are still tweaks to your system. Again, with the goal of reducing telemetry and fixing default settings in Windows. The run features tweaks setting gets rid of Windows features that are outdated and are a security risk. Things like the SMB1 protocol, as well as other deprecated things that should be removed, like Internet Explorer. The Run Capabilities Tweaks setting also removes some outdated features like WordPad, which might already be removed, as well as things like Math Recognizer, and again, Internet Explorer, as well as Print Facts and Scan. Old, 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 outdated features that are bloating up Windows. The Run Services Tweak setting applies tweaks to Windows services and disables some that, again, track you or aren't necessary for 99% of Windows users. The remove junk files setting, you guessed it, removes junk files on your computer. It empties your recycle bin, it clears your temp files, as well as combs through all your files to remove any old memory dumps that are huge in size that aren't needed anymore. Sometimes if a program crashes, it can create multiple gigabytes big memory dumps that just sit on your computer and you have no idea they even exist. Remove junk files finds them and deletes them. The Remove Bloatware setting removes bloatware apps from your computer from hundreds of blacklisted publishers and a big config file, as well as removing a bunch of default installed Windows apps like Candy Crush and Copilot that just are not needed that bloat up your Windows install. If you ever clicked the start menu and seen a million tiles of ads and sponsored content, that's what this gets rid of. Repair disk issues simply automates the process of running the command SFC scan now, check disk, and dism restore health. These are three commands you see on every single forum saying, hey, if your Windows installs causing problems, you should run these commands. This does it for you and checks the output to minimize the amount of commands you actually need to run. Scan for malware does two things. One. First off, it scans for malware using either Windows Defender or Sophos, depending on which antivirus you have installed. If you have Windows Defender installed, it runs a scan on that. If you have anything else, Windows Defender tends to not play nice, so I use Sophos. The second thing it does is if you are using Windows Defender, it applies better default settings against protections from ransomware and other exploits that regular out-of-the-box Windows Defender does not protect from. There's a program called Defender UI that does the same thing. These are optimized settings that improve protection if you're using Windows Defender. The last setting is update outdated programs. This, well, checks all your programs with WinGet to see which ones are outdated. It presents a massive list to you and asks 
which ones you want to update. Once you click yes, RepairKit will automatically update all your programs silently in the background. You're able to exclude certain programs in the config files if you don't want certain things to be updated. Now I'm going to run automatic repairs with all the settings except for update outdated programs. I ran this yesterday. Everything's up to date. So we'll see how it goes. First thing it does is make a restore point if things go wrong. After making the restore point, it goes through everything and does it automatically, multi-threaded, meaning it's not slow. It's very fast. I'll see you when it's done. The automatic repairs are done. It took a few minutes because repair disk issues, found some issues and repaired them. That takes a while. And so did the scan for malware. It took a bit, but it's done. But that's the automatic repairs feature. Let's go to useful programs. There's two pages, but let's go over the first page with more detail. First thing that we include is CPU-Z. CPU-Z is a fantastic app for seeing the specs of your system. It shows your CPU as well as the TDP, the voltage, the cores. It shows your motherboard name and when your BIOS was updated. It shows your memory and you can actually see what your memory is running at, what the slots they're in. You can even see graphics card information and you can run a benchmark to stress your CPU and see how good it is. The next thing is hardware monitor. This is mainly for seeing voltages and temperatures. With this, yeah, you can see the temperatures right there as well as the fan speeds, the voltages, the clock speeds. It's very specific, but it's very useful stuff. The next thing in the useful programs is MCSoft Scan. This is also known as MCSoft Emergency Kit. It's a virus scanner. It finds malware on your computer. For the sake of this video, I'm gonna run a quick scan, but it should be known that when you launch this, it's going to ask you to update. And once it does, just click yes, and it'll look like this. Do a quick scan for the sake of this video. Shouldn't take more than a couple minutes, if that. Good, it didn't find anything in the quick scan. Just gonna close it. And I'll move on to SophoScan, which is basically the same thing. Another virus malware scanner. I'm just gonna run another quick scan, but if you're looking to find malware on a computer, you should run the full malware scan. Same with MCSoft, just to give you better protection. This is just for the video, but a quick scan is quick. It mainly scans everything in memory, which is everything that's currently running. So if malware is running on your computer, this will find it. If it's lying dormant somewhere in your programs list, the regular malware scan will find that too. And there we go, nothing found. Took 30 seconds. The next thing on this page is tree size. This is a very useful app for finding out what's taking up space on your drives. It's really fast and it allows you to find huge files uh, that you might not have normally found that take up massive amounts of space. You can do it for both drives and it takes no time at all. It's really fast. That was that was instant. So if you want to see what is taking up your space on your drives, use tree size. The next app is Everything. This is an incredibly fast full disk file scanner. It's way better than Windows Search. Boom. It just found everything. 1.2 million items and you can search through all of them at an instant. It's very, very fast and way better than Windows Search for finding files. The next item on the page is Crystal Disk Info. This shows you the status and health of your disk drives in your computer. My SSD is in good standing. Both of them are. It shows you the temperatures of both and their health status. And Crystal Disk Mark, similar to Info, this just allows you to benchmark your drives. The next thing I'm going to look at is Auto Runs. This is very useful to see what exactly starts on your computer and where. It searches through every single possible startup location on your computer, it shows you the verified status. It even shows you virus total data. If something that starts up that isn't visible in Task Manager for whatever reason, this is the place to find it. The next thing I wanna look at is Process Explorer. This is an alternative to Task Manager. It also has virus total integration. You can see everything that runs on your computer and how they rank on virus total. Next, I wanna look at Process Monitor. This is a fire hose. Of data. This is every operation that's happening on your computer. You can stop recording them, you can go back, and you can filter. If you want to see exactly what a program is doing, use Process Monitor. It monitors registry changes, file changes, everything. It's very verbose and it's for diagnosing tough problems. One of the last things I want to look at on this page, the last, is Blue Screen View. This, well, it shows you dump files from when you blue screened. If you ever blue screen, 
open repair kit, open this tool and see what caused it. It gives you the code and potential causes. It's very useful. Moving on to the next page, we have NV clean stall. If you have an NVIDIA graphics card driver, this is useful. As you can see, I have an update and I can update it from here without installing any NVIDIA apps. And you can even install it on your machine. I have it installed, that's how I update my drivers. But if you wanna uninstall your graphics drivers completely, if you're ever having problems, DDU is the program for you. It's good for a clean installation if you ever have weird problems with your drivers. The last launchable tool in this is Recuva. This scans your computer for deleted files and allows you to recover them safely. If you are having problems, if you accidentally deleted something extremely important and you don't have a tool like OneDrive to back it up, you can probably find it and restore it. After Recuva, these are all links to outside programs. These are not bundled in a repair kit, but the first one I wanna talk about is 7-Zip. 7-Zip is an alternative to WinRAR. If you have WinRAR, I strongly urge you to install it and install 7-Zip. It's the same thing with no ads at all, and it's completely free. The next link is to Notepad++. This is an alternative to Notepad in Windows. It's great, I use it all the time. I recommend everyone install it, it's great. The next link in Repair Kit is Bitwarden. In my opinion, the best password manager. Everyone should use one. This is the best. It's completely free, but if you want to use the premium plan, it's 10 bucks a year. The next link in Repair Kit links to Sophos Home. You can get it for $5 a month if you don't like Windows Defender. The next one is Essential. This is uBlock Origin. Now, Chrome, if you click this link, it's going to say this extension is no longer available. But don't worry, they have uBlock Origin Lite. This is the best ad blocker you can install in your browser. It's free open source, it's the best. If you have any other ad blocker, I seriously urge you to get rid of it and check out uBlock Origin. The next link is to Osprey, my browser extension that combines seven different protection engines into one. If you've ever used Bitdefender Traffic Light, Microsoft Defender Browser Protection, or other tools like MCSoft's web protection extension. Instead of having seven different extensions, you can just have one. It stops basically everything. It's completely free and I recommend everyone install it. You can also just install all these different extensions separately. It just makes your browsing more secure. The next link is to Twinkle Tray. This is an incredibly useful app that allows you to adjust your brightness levels in Windows. I don't know why Windows doesn't have this, but for whatever monitor you have, you can adjust the brightness on demand, even have it synced to the daytime. It's so useful. Again, I don't know why Windows doesn't have this in the first place. The last link is to fan control. This is what I use to control my fans on my computer. It's so useful. Again, Windows should have this, but they don't. That's it for useful programs. The next is system shortcuts. These are basic shortcuts to Windows. Apps and features, this just goes to the apps and features setting, which allows you to uninstall previously installed apps. Um, startup apps, this shows you what starts up on your computer. When you launch it, you can toggle stuff on and off. It's like auto runs, but this is in Windows settings. Then you can check for Windows updates. You can manage the optional features in your computer. These are also known as capabilities in the repair kit automatic repairs. And you've got display settings. This just, well, you can actually access this right clicking the desktop, but if you don't know how to do that, it's included in here. Um, manage your storage settings, which opens up storage sense. Um, you can see what's where on your computer and even clean up junk files with the built-in Windows tool. Then manage sound settings. This is just the sound panel. Task manager, just task manager. If you wanna open up task manager, there it is. Device manager, this opens up device manager. Disk cleanup, this is Windows default disk cleanup. Um, obviously, I have my own built-in that does basically the same thing, but. And the last thing in repair kit is MS config. Just a shortcut to it. Uh, in this, you can change how your startup works on your computer. You can boot into safe mode. Um, you can disable any service you want, and you can also see more shortcuts in the tools section. That's it for Repair Kit. It's a less than 100 megabytes of useful programs all bundled into one place. 
I publish updates regularly. It's completely free. It's open source. The automatic repairs are a godsend. If you have any suggestions for any programs you'd like to see in Repair Kit, let me know. Otherwise, stay safe. Thanks for watching. Click the link in the description to download it today. Thank you.